How was it? This is very powerful. <laughs> I almost ripped my arm off. <laughs> Before I head to work, Christine and I decided that we are going to start taking some of the tops of the seats off so it makes things a lot easier for when we're ready to actually get into it and grind the seats out. So uh, I work at about 3 o'clock and it's about 12 right now so we're going to try to get as much done as we can during that time. Is there anything you want to say, little miss lady? No, let's get to work. The operation take the screws off the bottom of the seats was a bust. Um, they are on there pretty freaking tight and we can't get them off so we figure if it's too much work then we're not going to do it because it's really, it's really unnecessary. Our extension cord only goes to about half of our bus and that's what we're going to try to do is use our angle grinder to take off at least probably half the screws from the front of the bus. So Nate just went over to our friend's house to get some tools to help take out the seats. Um, we are going to be using the angle grinder as well. So I'm here by myself just for a minute and I'm going to kind of walk around with a screwdriver and just see what I can take out right now. There's a few that I have been able to get out myself but most of them are really hard and really stuck in there so it's kind of a hard process but I'm just kind of doing what I can at the moment. Just got back from my buddy's house and he's gonna let me borrow a few of his tools here so now we have exactly what we need. So once those are off it's gonna make it, things a lot easier for when we're actually ready to grind off the rusted areas which are these. We do live in Minnesota so that was a no-brainer. Just grinded my first seat off and if I did everything correctly the seat should just pop up. Woo! Oh god. <laughs> Our first seat! <laughs> oh! Wow. Yes! Look at that! Oh my god. Wow this already feels so much more roomy. Got our first seat out so obviously we're doing it the right way so uh let's get the rest of these seats out. to the wall and the seat so I just pretty much use this go under there and yank them all off few of the seats out so far and uh, we did that in a short period of time but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do too much more work it's in the fact that I work at 3 and it's almost 3 o'clock right now so uh, before I leave though Christina wanted to take a whack at trying the angle grinder this will be her very first time so I think she's kind of nervous very nervous <laughs> so go ahead try it out uh, just do just take it slow you uh, don't let feet? the spark scare you However you want to be, it's up to you.
does it? This is very powerful. <laughs> I almost ripped my arm off. It's harder than I thought it would be. So yeah, that's that. So far, so good. This is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's the progress we got. Well, <laughs> while Nate was gone, I took out my first seat by myself with the angle grinder. And that thing is so heavy. Like, honestly, <laughs> my arm feels like a noodle, but I did get it out. And yeah, I just kind of want to document it and just say that I'm really proud of myself. And I think I might do at least one more. We'll see how my arm holds out. So, Nate just went to work and I'm gonna just finish taking off the bolts that are like connected to the wall and the seat and then after I think we're probably gonna be done for the day and we'll probably just pick up on the other side of seats probably tomorrow. So it's been a great first day like it's still really surreal to me that we're actually doing this but it's really awesome at the same time and I'm really excited for you guys to see where this goes and where this takes us and yeah I just hope you stick with us through it all jumping into the next day here we didn't really get to finish the whole right side of the bus because our extension cords don't run that long so we kind of had to leave these two here for now until we can get a longer cord it's pretty crappy out right now with the rain but on the plus side, we did learn that there is a small leak that's in the bus from the rain. And from what it looks like is that it's coming from the window. So I don't really think it's anything to worry about too much. Eventually we will fix it, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from right about here. And uh, if that's it, then that'll be a pretty simple fix. Um, today we're gonna be working on getting the left side of the bus out. I'm going to be hauling our seats down to the basement and Christina's going to be grinding off the seats. Good news here, so while looking in my basement I end up finding a super long extension cord so that kind of fixes our problem. Now we can get the rest of these back seats out which will make things a lot easier for me when I'm trying to get these to the basement. The front door is so thin, using the back door would be a lot easier because it's wider. So what we're going to do is take these three seats out maybe and maybe that one so uh i can start hauling these things to the basement and make things a lot easier for myself yeah so you already took the bolts off mm-hmm so you can just rip it up hopefully it, uh, uh. looks like there's a little bit more on the back side that's probably connected to the... Oh, the heater. Yeah. Well, the seat didn't come out. Kind of forgot that the heater was underneath the seat. So we had to take the bottom cushion out to access the bolt that's in here. Otherwise, it would have been pretty tricky to get underneath to do it. But this should make things a lot easier now that we have the bottom cushion out. <laughs> Should not be this hard. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Questions, anybody? <laughs> Got about two more 
actual seats left on the bus and then we're done with the seats and then we got to move on to the next project. We are officially done taking out all of our bus seats and boy, I, I, I tell you, it feels amazing. It does. It's definitely a huge difference from when the seats were in there till now. Taking out the seats wasn't hard at all. It's just very exhausting. And uh, time yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say time because I mean, it didn't take too long, but it, it's just an annoying process that I wish I didn't have to do, but I had to do. <laughs> it didn't take too long. Not too many tools. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna call it a day because we're both exhausted and just remember to stay positive. Ooh.